Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff from Urban Condo Spaces and I'm standing in front of Pike Place Market. This is one of the most iconic public markets in the entire country. I'm gonna show you guys 15 condo projects that are within walking distance of Pike Place. This uh, market alone, guys, had 15 million tourists in Seattle last year. It's um, one of those icons of Seattle that's gonna be forever popular. I love going here to get my groceries. I'm gonna show you projects where you could literally walk out of your front door and be here within minutes. So follow along guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, let me show you around. Hey guys, what's going on? Okay, so as you saw in the video, I went down to Pike Place Market today. It is a beautiful day in Seattle. Uh, insane. Lots of people in town. There was a Mariners game, so the Boston Red Sox fans are in town. Uh, that's Seattle's uh, professional baseball team. Anyway, I had a really, really good time down at the market today, and the purpose of today's post was, uh, or is, that I'm publishing this on the blog. Okay, this is really cool. What I wanted to do is give you guys um, 15 projects that are within walking distance to Pike Place Market. So as I, I mentioned in the video, these are opportunities for you to literally come out of your front door and walk directly uh, to the market to get groceries, you know, fresh produce, fish, odds and ends. I mean, anything that you can imagine at the market, um, Seattle's Pike Place Market has it. It's, it's insane. Uh, there was 15 million people that visited Pike Place Market uh, last year. Some of the things I enjoy at the market, I almost always get my fish while I'm down there. I get vegetables. Uh, there's a really, really great kind of French cafe called uh, Le Panier where you can get fresh uh, sandwiches, macaroons, amazing coffee, French baguettes. Uh, there's, there's lots of stuff down at the market though, guys. You can get anything from tea to Seattle, um, uh, stuff from the music scene. There's crafts and pastas and tons of stuff that you guys can get into. Uh, if you haven't been to the market yet, I would totally encourage you to do so. So anyway, let's get started, okay? We have 15 condo projects that are within walking distance of the market, and this was really fun for me, guys. I wanted to give you guys something that you could use as kind of a roadmap. I mean, you guys can download this off the site, and you can kind of use it. Um, as uh, a way for you to not just get to know these projects, but maybe target one of these projects in the future. So let's get started with number one. Okay, number one is First Light. Obviously this is a brand new condo project that's gonna deliver in 2022. There's 49 stories and 459 units. Okay, so that's number one on the list. As you guys might have seen in the video before from a couple weeks ago, I actually bought a unit at First Light. I'm pretty excited about it. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. Okay, so number two on the list. This is Cristala. This is a staple of downtown Seattle, an amazing project. I featured it in the Seattle Condo Spotlight. It has uh, 23 units, or excuse me, 23 stories, 195 units and it was built in 2005. Okay. Number three on the list. It's one Pacific Tower. This project is really only about a block and a half from the market. It was built in 1994. It has 75 units on 27 stories of living. All right guys, that brings us to number four. Number four is Market Place Tower. Most of you guys won't be familiar with this project. Uh, it was built in 1998. There's only seven units in the entire building on 16 stories. Uh, there is currently a unit on the market right now for 9.3 million. Uh, so that's one to check out. I'll post a link for you guys to check that unit out. But number four on the list is Marketplace Tower. Okay, number five.
five is uh, Marketplace North. Okay, you guys might be familiar with this building. It kind of has like an angular architecture going away from the market. It's literally one block up from Pike Place Market with great views. Uh, Marketplace North, guys, is uh, 91 units on 21 floors, and it was built in 1982. So it's shown its age a little bit, but it's one of those uh, towers that's still very, very popular downtown. Okay, number six on the list. Uh, Market Court. So I've sold a number of units in this building. Very small. Uh, if you drive by it, you probably wouldn't even notice. It's kitty corner to Cost Plus uh, World Market down uh, in the market. Um, uh, it's right kind of next to Etta's. If you guys are familiar with Tom Douglas's restaurant, Etta's. Uh, it's uh, 64 units on seven floors and it was built in 1989. Okay, number seven. Another new construction project, the Emerald. Okay, Emerald is a great project, guys. Uh, not a lot of parking, but I'm going to be doing a big thorough review on the Emerald uh, for you to get uh, familiar with the project. It's going to be delivered in 2020. There's 39 stories and there's 265 units. Okay, so let's keep an eye on uh, number seven on our list, the Emerald. Okay, number eight. Hey guys, 1521 uh, Second Ave. You guys would probably recognize this building. It sits right behind the market, literally half a block. It towers over the market uh, with kind of a steel blue exterior. Does not have exterior decks. It has these windows that open up where you have kind of these interior decks. It was finished in 2008, 39 stories, 143 units. Uh, interesting story on 1521 guys, when it first came to market, uh, this was like 2008, 2009. Every single unit was priced over a million dollars, which at the time was was pretty amazing in Seattle. Okay, number nine on our list. Number nine on our list, Newmark Tower. Newmark Tower is is got a really good proximity to the market, guys. It was built in 1991. 25 stories, 193 units. Um, this project has a historic building in front of it that is currently uh, being proposed to, to, to be, a, I believe, a 14-story hotel. It's gone back and forth in design review. Uh, during public comment, a lot of people haven't wanted that building to get built, so time will tell. But Newmark Tower is literally one of the closest buildings in this entire list to the market. Okay, number 10 on the list. Fix Midori. Most of you guys probably haven't heard of Fix. It's on Western, so it sits down below Pike Place Market. Uh, it's an old historic building. It was built in 1910. There's only 32 units on six stories, so it's one of those projects that that um, you guys probably haven't seen. There's only been a few units on the market over the last year or two. Okay, number 11 on the list. Uh, Uh, this is an interesting one. This is called Hill Climb Court. Okay, Hill Climb Court was built in 1982. There's only four stories and there's 38 units. The story around Hill Climb Court is it's probably one of the, the buildings that's going to benefit most from the viaduct coming down. It literally, uh, on its west facing views, had looked at the viaduct while um, cars buzzed by it for years and years and years. So, this is one of those buildings to keep an eye on as an investor. When that viaduct comes down, the value of Hill Climb is going to go up. Okay, number 12 in the list. <music> 98 Union. This, sit, this building sits right across from the Four Seasons. It's also right at the top of the stairs that take you from uh, Four Seasons uh, and 98 Union down to basically the Seattle waterfront that will be revamped. Uh, 98 Union was built in 1985. There's 13 stories and 74 units. Okay, that was number 12 on our list. Number 13.
Obviously, it's the building right next door, the Four Seasons. Four Seasons is uh, 22 stories, guys, 36 units, and it was completed in 2008. Um, kind of a tough time to come to the market. They had a, uh, a lot of trouble getting those units sold for a number of years, but uh, now it's you know a pretty um, coveted project. Great hotel, big views downtown. Okay, number 14 is... Number 14 is Colonial Grand Pacific. So this is a pretty cool first half location. It's uh, really close to Madison Tower, which is the next one on our list. Uh, but Colonial Grand Pacific, not a lot of units. There's only 47 units on six stories. It was built in 1902. So this is one of those old historic uh, condo projects downtown that has a lot of history. Um, a lot of small floor plans, but, but some pretty unique ones at that. Okay, number 15. Guys, this is a project that actually I had a listing in just here recently. Uh, it's Madison Tower. It, uh, Madison Tower shares its building with uh, Hotel 1000, Lowe's 1000. Um, very cool condo project, only 47 units, really, really exclusive. It was built in uh, 2006 and there's 25 stories. The top floor is a rooftop deck for the residents. So that's it guys, there's 15 condo projects within walking distance of Pike Place Market. Um, it was fun going down there today and, and, and getting the first part of this video shot for you guys. If you have questions, obviously I just told you a little bit about these buildings. If you guys are trying to target um, a project that's close to Pike Place Market and you want some more feedback and you want me to kind of help you understand which one of those buildings would be the best investment for you, uh, I would love to help. All right, if you like the video, do me a favor, please hit the like button for me or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I've been rolling out stuff like this, guys, uh, for quite some time, you know, whether it's the 20 projects that are going to benefit from the, the Viduct coming down or projects to target in terms of new construction for the next wave of the Seattle condo boom, um, or our post today, you know, about uh, how to invest in a really good condo project that's within walking distance of one of Seattle's most iconic tourist locations, Pike Place Market. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.